Hi guys, picked this up in the charity shop. Uh, cost me a pound in Sue Ryder charity shop. I was thinking of making it into a rubber band powered tricycle, but the axle isn't actually connected to the wheels. The wheels spin on these hubs here. So I could still do it, I could actually glue the wheels onto the hubs and then I'd need to free up the axle a little bit because it's not particularly free going through the tubes there. So I could do it, but instead of that I thought I might make it into a little fan driven car. It'll only go in a straight line, the steering doesn't steer, it's actually got a square section there, so it's not designed to steer at all. Well, I suppose at a push you could set it at 90 degrees, but I doubt whether that will work. No, you want somewhere in the middle, don't you? You want about 45 degrees to get a sensible turn out of it. So, what I do have is this little motor with a fan blade on it. Uh, that came out of one of those ones that you're supposed to plug straight into your smartphone, into the USB port, and it runs off the battery on your phone. But I reckon I could fit that right there, a couple of wires on it, put the battery down there somewhere, and get it running. And for a battery, I was thinking of using one of these. Um, power pod. I've done a video on these already, fitting a charger to them. And Big Clive did a proper tear down on them. They're supposed to be two pounds in Poundland, but I found they're actually selling them off for a pound each. So I went back and bought a couple more. In fact, no, three more I went and bought. So what I'll do is I'll just use this one to power this car. It's got a nice little on-off switch on it, but I don't happen to have the right sort of socket for that to plug into, so I'm going to have to open it up anyway. Yeah. And if I want to recharge it anyway, the LiPo, then I'd have to rig up the charging circuit again. This battery has no protection on it at all, so if you're going to put a charger on it, you need to have one that um, properly limits it. And also you should have something on there so that you don't over-discharge it. But looking at this, we ought to be able to pick up the positive and negative. Well, I could just solder directly onto here. In fact, if I solder it up to there, we can use the switch to switch it on and off. So I'll add a couple of wires on there. This has just got a bit sticky two double-sided sticky on the back of it. Oh, that one's particularly good sticky. Ease it out. Yeah. I'll just stick it on there. Say a couple of wires. Stick that up there and see if it runs up and down the kitchen. So there we are. For absolutely no practical purpose, a fan driven tricycle. Remember, this battery's got no protection on it, so if we run it down too far, it will have problems. What I will do eventually is put some leads on it so we can charge it using a proper charger. But at the moment, all it is is it's pre charged when you buy it. I've chopped the circuit board so we've just got the on-off switch, so there we go. I'll put it down on the floor 
and we'll race it along the kitchen. It doesn't go straight because I tried it before we even did this modification. I just gave it a push and it goes off to one side. So, although I suppose I could redirect the fan a bit and that might help. I had an idea. Rather than let it run up and down the kitchen and smash into the wall, we've got it going round in a circle. Now the friction of it dragging the front wheel to make it go round in a circle is slowing it down a bit. It was going much faster in a straight line. But it's going alright. So we have a tethered, fan-driven tricycle. Using a Poundland, I uh, can't remember what it was called, was it Power Boost or something or other? Which is a LiPo battery with no protection. It says 650 milliamp hours on it. I could leave it running and see what happens to the battery if we leave it to over discharge. But I don't think I will. I'll put some connectors on that battery so we can just charge it up properly. Just in case you're wondering, that's just a big old transformer out of a um, microwave oven. It just happens to be a nice heavy weight. I've got to put a pivot on it. It's just a bent paper clip on the handy shaft so that it tethers the tricycle. I've no idea what that tricycle is actually for. There's some little holes on the back that look like something was supposed to be there. I reckon that's picking up speed. Anyway, it works. And the little on off switch works. Well, that's something I didn't expect to be doing today. Complete random what you find in charity shops. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.